Christmas, Jennifer here for Darlington Art Center, and today I'm going to give you a preview for a brand new class that we're starting at Darlington, Art Around the World. And Art Around the World will be held on Monday afternoons from 4 till 5, 15 p.m., and it starts on January 31st. Um, so let's jump right into this. Today's preview is going to be a cast paper tile inspired by Moroccan tiles. And here you can see one of my finished projects. These are really beautiful hung in a window or in front of a um, light source. They have a slightly sheer effect and they just take light beautifully. So let's jump right into the supplies. Most of the supplies I already have in front of me. I have these plastic tiles. These tiles are made by Cedar Canyon. I'm going to go ahead and show you one of their labels just so you can see it. This is the op art version and I'm primarily working with the kaleidoscope version because I feel that those images look the most like the traditional designs in the Moroccan tiles, which tend to be these sort of floral and geometric patterns. Uh, so we need the plastic tiles. Of course, you can also do paper casting projects similar to these with other um, plastic rubbing plates or texture plates if you have those at home. Um, but I really love the global appearance of these tiles. So I have my tiles, I have a watered down Elmer's glue and I used Elmer's brand, but you can use any school glue or PVA white glue. And this is 50-50, one part glue, one part water. Uh, I have a cup of water in case some of my tissue paper bleeds. Uh, you will see that some of my tissue paper will start to stain my brush or stain my glue. I don't want it to stain my glue because then everything will be ruined. So if that happens, I'll just rinse my brush real quick, dry it off, and then I'll be fine. So I have a paper towel to dry, clean water to wash my brush, a paintbrush, and various colors of tissue paper that preferably are not bleeding, but we can work with that if we find it. Um, and that's pretty much all you need. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take my tile and working in the center design area, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in some of my glue and water mixture. And it's okay if I get little drips here and there. I am going to go for um, the actual staying within the lines of the pattern at this point. Sometimes I don't, especially if I am using a lot of the bleeding tissue. I'll just do it abstract and have kind of like a tie-dye effect, but for now I'm going to see if I can stay within. So I'm going to start with these oranges and reds and these, I'm not going to worry about keeping them in the lines because I'm going to use this color family in this area. So I'm just slightly overlapping them into the area where I just put the glue. I'm not going to fill the entire thing just yet. So right now I have that much. And I'm going to take my brush again and I'm going to tap my tissue down into the glue and into the indentations on the texture plate. I really wanna get that tissue into those indentations. Okay, now we can see that some of my red is staining my brush already. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brush and dry it off before I dip it back in my glue. We wanna keep the glue pristine. It doesn't matter so much about the tissue paper. first section done in reds and oranges. Now my next section is kind of that spiky sort of sunray section. So I'm going to stay with my warm tones and use yellows. And now this section is tiny 
also. Oh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brush my glue mixture into that area. Um, the section is tiny, but I am going to allow myself to overflow into the previous section. So I'm gonna try not to overflow into the next section, which would be where those little circles are. But if I overlap the previous section, the red and orange sun center, that is okay. going to cover the entire tile in blues but before I do that I want to get those corner triangles in purple going to worry about shades of blue and at this point I'm also not worrying about placement other than it, in other words I'm going to go right over the areas I already did I'm not getting all the way up to the corners yet but I will do that in the next step to really push it down into those crevices. So that really is the key to this project, is really getting your tissue into all the nooks and crannies of the texture plate or the texture tile or the rubbing plate or whatever you wanna call it. Um, that's how you're gonna get a really beautiful design is by really forcing the paper into all of those indentations. And again, we do that by lightly, lightly tapping. If you have to go back over it, it's better to go back over it than to tear it or to move it someplace you don't want it to go. And at this point, I'm gonna go all the way to the edges and then I'm going to work my way back in. So I'm going to cover the entire tile from the outside edges into the center. And I'm still going to stay with blue. So I want to have a solid background with a multicolored front. want to work your way around especially we know that that center area is bleeding and we don't necessarily want to get that red dye on our brush before we're done doing the blue and purple area which I have to say even from the back is looking super beautiful and vibrant right now and now I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to get the center area completed not quite as absorbent as I would have thought it would be. up of that. I feel like I missed a spot, but I think that's because I used just the really, really light blue. So here's what we look like all pushed into the crevices. And now folks, 
If I was just doing this for myself, I would add a third layer, but for the sake of this video, I am not going to, but I will show you one that I did last night. So here's the one I showed you already that's finished. And here's one that I worked on last night, and I believe this is three layers. I did a solid background. I did ombre underneath. Let's see what it looks like. So to remove it, I'm just going to carefully start to peel it away. And you don't want to force it. You just kind of want to let it gradually pop out. You see it comes out pretty easily. And there we go. There's my ombre green spiral. I'm pretty happy with that too. So that is it for today. Just an example of the type of project we might do in Art Around the World coming to Darlington on Mondays starting January 31st. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.